Welcome to the free video for StockOptionAssassin.com. In this video, we're going to talk real quick about using Thinkorswim more efficiently and really specifically learning how to link your watch list that you have with the charts that you have. So you can see right now I have two charts set up. Uh, one's a daily chart, one's a 30-minute chart, and then I have my watch list that I have here. So um, one of the one of the easier things to do is, you know, let's say if I want to look at Apple, I can see over here that Apple's up one and a half percent. Well, to see it on the chart, you know, I would have to put in here Apple, okay? Then like, okay, there's there's the chart, and okay, what what's the thirty minute chart looking like? And I got to type it in again, and then if I actually wanted to trade Apple, I would click on the trade tab, um, and then I would have to type in Apple again, okay? So all that typing can really, you know, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but all that typing can really kind of be cumbersome when you have a lot of watch lists or a lot of positions. So what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to show you how to link up your charts with your watch list with the trade tab. So um, you can see right here in this watch list, I have uh, this blue thing is up to number three. So I'm going to go ahead and link this one. And basically, you're going to link your watch list to a certain color. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose green number four. And then on the trade um, trade tab here, I'm going to go ahead and link that to number four. I'm going to go back to my charts. And you can see you have the little button here. It's a red, yellow, and blue button. And I'm going to click on that and um, put that to number four, green, and number four, green here. So now what happens, now when I click on Amazon, anything that's linked to this number four, it will change automatically. So now over here, I can use my arrow key and just simply, you know, I can say, okay, which, which stocks are up? Let's go to another uh, watch list. So here I have my, um, go to this. Yes, one. But here's a bigger watch list that I'm watching. So I can sort by percentage. It's like, oh, well, let me see the stocks that are up the most. And I can kind of scroll through and say, okay, what's Twitter doing? What's Amazon doing? Okay, that's right. And I can just kind of scroll through. When I get to, you know, let's say Netflix, say, oh, okay, I want to buy some calls or, you know, whatever I want to do. I simply go to the trade tab and guess what? The, it's already there. If this was not linked, right? And let's say I go back to my charts. This is linked. I'm a Yahoo. Okay, Apple. Okay, I want to do something Apple. Let me go to the trade tab. Well, guess what? Netflix is still there. Well, how many people would just look at the options and go, okay, I want to do this. It's very easy to make a mistake. So what I like to do is have everything linked up so that when I scroll down my watch list, my charts change. And also when I go to the trade tab, whatever stock I was just looking at is also just kind of already there, uh, ready to go. So hopefully that helps um, give you a little tip and trick to kind of navigate Thinkorswim a little bit faster. If you have any questions, let me know. And you guys have a great day.